So the internet, uh, it's a unique place. Uh, it provides the World Wide Web. Um, and I'm sure each one of us has his own uh, web archive, little web archive of things that we download each day. Um, uh, at some point in time, I would have thought that the idea of capturing it all, all of the World Wide Web on disk, would have been crazy. Uh, but it turns out there's a consortium that's involved with this task. So thank you for the introduction. I work for the Library of Alexandria in uh, Egypt. Um, uh, I joined um, in 2002, so it has been a long time. Uh, and there um, we have uh, different activities related to digital preservation. So before I go into the talk about the IIPC and web archiving, it's perhaps appropriate to mention some of our activities in digital preservation. So um, one uh, thing we provide is uh, DARS. So DARS stands for Digital Assets Repository. It's also funny because DAR uh, in Arabic means uh, house. So it's like a uh, house of publishing. Um, so that's dar.webatics.org. Uh, we provide the digitized copies of books. Um, so DAR is uh, two components. Um, it's the software that um, uh, uh, handles the digitization workflow and providing, it, providing access to it and also the, the actual digitization. So at the Library of Alexandria, we have a digitization facility. Uh, it's operated by a staff of, I think, about 100 people and has uh, scanners, and they get uh, books and other uh, material to digitize, and they uh, produce uh, digital content. Um, another uh, thing is um, we have a project uh, called the, modern memory, uh, the Mem memory of Modern Egypt. Uh, that's modernegypt.bibatics.org. Uh, so it's a collection of, um, of uh, different um, um, uh, types of content uh, related to uh, uh, Egypt in recent history. Um, also related to this project are presidential archives. So we have uh, presidential archives for Egypt's uh, presidents. Okay. Another thing we were involved with, um, and I'm sure uh, many of uh, you would be familiar with is uh, the World Digital Library. We were involved with the first phase of development of this project as, um, as developers. Um, and um, it's currently being discussed um, to, uh, to pursue a second phase of development for this project to, um, to take it to the next level. Uh, and we hope to be involved also with that. Um, another very interesting area uh, is uh, visualization and 3D modeling. Uh, we have um, a group uh, that we uh, refer to as VISTA, Visual Immersive Science and Technology Applications. Uh, they specialize in, uh, um, in computer graphics and uh, virtualization. And uh, we develop applications uh, um, around, <coughs> um, around the theme of uh, providing um, uh, virtual reality applications and uh, 3D applications uh, for scientific and um, um, archival purposes. So one application that we developed is uh, um, a virtual antiquities museum uh, that has um, uh, artifacts from uh, uh, the Library of Alexandria's Antiquities Museum. Um, and we've also taken that one step further uh, under European funding to develop um, um, something we call Vermov, the Virtual Museum Framework. That's um, a tool, it's, it's actually a Unity plugin uh, that um, enables uh, non-developers to build their own virtual museums based on artifacts they have. Um, and um, finally, the project uh, that's related to what I'm going to be uh, talking about for the rest of the time today uh, is the BA Internet Archive. Um, as I said, when I joined the BA in 2002, um, um, I, um, I, 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 I was lucky to, uh, to be uh, assigned to this project, the BA Web Archive. Uh, um, at the time, I worked with uh, Brister Kale, who founded the Internet Archive nonprofit in the United States uh, that um, launched the whole idea of uh, providing a publicly accessible web archive. Um, we worked together to set up a mirror site at the BA. Um, at the time, it was a 100 terabyte uh, cluster, um, very large at the time, now not very large at all. Um, and we have been expanding that um, um, uh, and growing uh, the web archive uh, at the Library of Alexandria. So um, that was in 2002. Um, later on, in uh, 2003, um, 
something formed called the International Internet Preservation Consortium. That's the IIPC. Uh, we joined the IIPC a little later in 2011, um, and uh, the consortium has been growing. Uh, so um, um, today I would like to give um, a brief overview about the uh, IIPC, uh, its members, key activities, and uh, working groups, portfolios, resources we provide, projects that we have supported over the years. So the IAPC's mission is to um, acquire, preserve, and make accessible uh, content from the World Wide Web. Uh, and for that, we have set uh, three goals, uh, three primary goals to achieve this uh, mission. Um, to um, 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 harvest content from the web, uh, to foster development of uh, source code, of, of tools, um, um, <clears throat> and um, to um, enable and encourage institutions around the world to promote the idea of web archiving um, as an important mission to uh, carry on for uh, uh, digital preservation. So the consortium uh, was formed in uh, 2003 with 12 uh, founding members. They met at the National Library in uh, France. And um, it has been growing and today in 2019 it's uh, made up of um, 57 members. Um, the members are involved with different activities, projects, uh, tools development, collaborative collections, conferences. Um, uh, this is uh, the list of the 57 members. Um, I hope uh, next time we, pre we present this, uh, we'll have um, um, to do it on two slides. <laughs> um, okay, so... Um, so back to the question of uh, why archive the web. Uh, this is a sample of uh, the IIPC website, which is netpreserve.org. Uh, three versions of it at different points in time. So um, um, uh, uh, media for, for um, um, inscribing human knowledge have evolved over the years. So we started out with uh, perhaps uh, um, etching on stone, and uh, later on we had uh, the invention of papyrus, which was a major technological leap. Um, and um, that technology has been evolving over the uh, many years and centuries. So today uh, we can look at the internet as another evolution of that uh, technology, of uh, media for um, inscribing human knowledge and human heritage. So if we do not preserve that uh, medium, uh, we, uh, risk of, uh, we risk losing it and uh, not being able to pass it on to future generations. Um, and especially with the, the, the internet today, it's a very volatile medium. Uh, so the average lifetime of a web page, uh, it's debated, but it, uh, uh, some studies have it as uh, 100 days. Um, and uh, the examples of, are many of uh, web pages that, uh, of uh, websites that used to exist at some point and uh, are no longer there. So the IIPC uh, is, um, is a consortium. It has a steering committee. The Library of Alexandria is uh, currently serving as a steering committee member. And um, the IIPC um, um, has uh, portfolios and working groups. Uh, three portfolios, um, membership engagement, partnerships and outreach, and uh, tools development. And currently, we have uh, four working groups. And the idea of working groups is uh, that they are something that's dynamic. They can uh, pop up. and. Uh, uh, come into existence to achieve a certain purpose. Um, so with the current working groups we have are preservation working group, content development, training working group, and research working group. The training and research working groups are the most recent we have. Um, they are rather exciting. So training is, uh, is developing curricula and um, online uh, documentation for, um, to get institutions started with web archiving. And the research working group is trying to promote the web archives as a, a data set for research. So uh, the IFC has supported many projects over the years. Um, um, many of the IFC members are, run their own domain crawls. So, so it's top level domains of the national country domains, such as um, .fr for France, for example, .uk, .eg for Egypt. Um, and um, um, projects um, that the IFC supports um, also um, um, involve tools development, and that's really important because um, um, to archive the web, you need tools, you need software. 
so that ties into the previous session, uh, the importance of open source software because many, all of these tools are actually open source tools. So um, um, generally, we, have, uh, we need the, something to provide access to web archive. So that's um, what we refer as, um, we're, what we refer to as the Wayback. So uh, there have been different implementations of the Wayback machine over the years. Uh, that's an open source project that we are involved with. Uh, there is a crawler. So there is a, uh, under the hood, there is um, um, Heratrix. That's an open source uh, um, full scale web crawler, uh, archival web crawler. Um, and um, uh, Heratrix um, can be used with the, the web creator tool, which is a way to manage the full uh, workflow for web archiving. Um, besides tools, there are also standards, which is very important. We have the WARC file format for um, storing archived uh, uh, documents. WARC is an ISO standard that the IFC is, um, is actively updating and uh, working to improve. And another interesting um, uh, standard or protocol is the Memento protocol, which is a protocol for linking different web archives together. Uh, other projects are fit into the category of uh, collaborative collection building. Um, so one example of that, uh, we had uh, different collaborative collections over the years, um, but one recent example is the um, uh, online news around the world. Uh, that's led by the Danish uh, National Library and with support from others. Uh, and if we look at this, at um, uh, an example of um, how we would manage workflow for web archiving, we can see there are four steps. So uh, preparation and curation, nomination of uh, seeds to start the harvesting from, crawling, which is the actual process of capturing the web. And that's uh, really technically involved with many technical challenges because the web is a complex place um, with many special cases to handle. Uh, uh, and finally, uh, the providing the collection uh, as a publicly accessible data set to users in general and to researchers uh, in particular. Um, one uh, platform that can be used uh, for web archiving is Archivit. It's a service provided by the Internet Archive, uh, archive.org. Uh, so Archivit is a cloud-based um, facility for um, uh, building your own web archives. It's a paid service. Uh, but it's very popular among different IFC members. So uh, one exciting new initiative we have at the IFC is uh, a funding program, uh, and that has just been launched recently with the first uh, call for proposals um, uh, currently being evaluated. Uh, so this uh, provides funding for uh, three categories, seeds uh, grants, development grants, and program grants. Um, uh, as I said, it's currently under review, but uh, we have, as the Library of Alexandria, in collaboration with the National Library of New Zealand, um, uh, a proposal for the development of a um, um, scalable, interactive uh, web archive visualization uh, environment. Uh, we have dubbed it uh, LinkGate. So it aims to provide an alternative access interface to web archives based on um, the idea of a web archive being uh, a collection of nodes linked with uh, edges. Um, so it's provide, it, it aims to provide a way to better explore web archives and to um, be a, a researcher tool, uh, hopefully with um, the facility to um, write the custom plugins for the uh, environment uh, to, for example, um, um, uh, instruct the, um, uh, the software to look for um, different uh, paths from node to node based on a number of, um, of hops or to find all loops that go through a certain node in the archive. So we hope this uh, project uh, gets uh, funding and uh, uh, begins development and that will be a good tool for researchers to uh, find uh, interesting information in web archives. Uh, the consortium provides uh, resources uh, to its members and others in general. They're all uh, publicly, av publicly available. One, um, one important resource is the awesome web archiving tools uh, list. That's a list on GitHub maintained um, by IFC members of uh, useful tools in web archiving. Um, we also provide uh, use cases. So there are many use cases uh, uh, for web archives. Um, yesterday, I uh, coming in on the way from um, the airport to the hotel, I met a, a, 
our colleague uh, Jun Ran from uh, the Australian uh, National University. And um, we had a discussion about web archiving. And I remember one thing she said when we talked about the scale of the data being in petabytes. She said that there's a lot to do with that data. And that's true. So um, uh, it's a very large data set and uh, very, uh, with, with lots of information to mine. Um, uh, so we can do link analysis, we can do text mining. Uh, one interesting research involved um, the evaluation of um, uh, the change in technology trends over the years. Um, one perhaps relevant uh, thing to mention here at the Library of Alexandria, we provide the research um, computational platform for our researchers. Uh, it's a supercomputer, high performance computing cluster. Um, and one thing we are looking into is to perhaps uh, uh, pair up the, um, the platform with data sets from web archives. So this way, provide the computational platform to researchers along with the data sets to um, analyze. Um, there is also, uh, hosted by the University of North Texas, um, two collections related to the IFC. One is um, 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 uh, publications from um, uh, web archiving conferences and general assembly events that the RFC held in the past, and also another collection of general IFC publications. Again, that's all publicly available. Um, we, um, as IFC, one of uh, the major things we do is conferences and events. Uh, uh, our annual event is the general assembly and the web archiving conference. The um, web archiving conference is open to um, non-IFC members. Anyone can be there. Um, um, and uh, we also do uh, other um, um, non-regular events, such as hackathons around tools development. And uh, we have um, uh, uh, monthly online hours, um, which are um, online calls that uh, developers can uh, join and uh, talk about different uh, things related to tools development and software development um, related to web archiving. Um, so the next uh, IIPC General Assembly and Web Archiving Conference is, um, is uh, in May of 2020. That's in Canada. Uh, I hope to see some of you there. Um, and uh, for any information related to uh, the IFC and Web Archiving, I'll be happy if you email me or email the communications officer at uh, simplelist at ifc.simplelist.com. Um, and with that, I end my talk. <laughs>